night the FedEx guy finally came and dropped my package. Let's see what we got in here. Here are the parts for the new toy. It's a little spring. Some of you may know what that is right off the bat or maybe you've seen some other clues around here. This is a countershaft seal kit. Didn't realize it'd have that many pieces. And this is a rear wheel bearing and seal and axle kit. I'm sure you guys have already seen from the intro, but here's the new toy. I have been into dirt bikes ever since I was a kid. Um, I was totally obsessed as a kid. My older cousins always had three wheelers and dirt bikes and I just, I was obsessed with it. So I had a little Yamaha RT100. It was a two stroke trail bike that um, uh, it was oil injected. That was an awesome bike, had a ton of fun on that. And then in high school, when I could actually get a job and, and work and save up some money, I bought a 98 CR125. That was an awesome bike. My buddy Brooks had a track out at his house and we'd always go after school and go out there and ride the track. And um, it was all two strokes back then. I've had a ton of street bikes and especially around the time I'd, I was getting ready to have my first kid, I was just kind of done with street bikes. And I actually had a street bike for sale. I had a Z1000 for sale. Didn't get any great offers and a guy offered to trade me two dirt bikes for it. And one of them was a 03 Yamaha WR250F and then he also traded me a YZ250F. But I took that WR um, out to a place near here called Chadwick. A lot of people come to ride it. It's pretty hard, rocky terrain. Um, a ton of trails in the National Forest though and uh, I just kind of loved it. So I got rid of that bike. I didn't have a dirt bike for a while and then when my son was probably about two I started looking for another WR250F. Um, I loved that four stroke punch at low RPM and I wanted one that had push button start and I wanted something I could be lazy on, not foul plugs and just have that low end torque. Um, so I found another one, it was an 04, it was easier to start, had electric start, 04 WR250F uh, and that's been phenomenal bike. Um, but it, it feels kind of heavy, kind of bulky. I rode with a buddy of mine out in Colorado who had a KTM 300 two-stroke, KTM XCW, um, and his buddy had one. So I was able to borrow his buddies and we went riding. And I had no idea two-strokes could make torque like that. I fell in love with it. But at the time, I was like, well, those are out of my price range. Um, so here a while back, I started looking around trying to maybe trade my WR for a KTM. I noticed the prices have kind of come down on them had several people that were maybe interested in a trade and it just didn't work out so I found this bike this is a 2008 uh, KTM XCW 300 it's got an Olin steering dampener KTM Bark Busters flex bars which are pretty expensive FMF gnarly pipe and silencer it's got a lot of really nice parts on it I think the original owner put a lot of high dollar nice parts on it um, and then the kid I bought it from, I think he just rode it and never did any maintenance to it. Um, the air filter was completely dirty in a bad way. Um, I pulled the rear wheel off and the rear wheel seals just fell out. The front sprocket, output shaft, whatever you call it, um, it was leaking a little bit of oil. I don't think the gear oil had ever been changed, so I swapped that out. But anyway, I've just been waiting for these few parts to come in. I need to put a new inner tube in the front tire. It's leaking air. Um, but once I do a few of those things, I think it's going to be good to go. Depending on what you guys think, I may or may not have much dirt bike coverage on the channel. But I figured since I was in the middle of doing this and excited about uh, being back on a two-stroke, getting something new, I thought I'd just do a little video on it. If uh, some of you car guys are also interested in dirt bikes or if this gets um, some other dirt bike guys over to the channel uh, and you guys like it, you know, show me some love with some, some likes, some views, uh, some new subscriptions, and be sure to hit the bell if you want to get notified when I uh, release new videos. If dirt bikes are something you guys also enjoy or, or there's enough new traffic from the dirt bike stuff, I'll be sure to do a lot more videos like this. Well, my other package came in. I got everything I need, I think. 
get this thing going. Set of 16 inch tire changing spoons. And then I've got a set of set of four rim protectors. So now I can get that tube on the front changed when I get everything else finished here. Let's get going on the actual repairs. Something about working on mechanical things. Taking something broken or unwanted and making it like new again. It's something I love. When you build or fix something that you could jump in and take it on that first test drive. Now for the next part of the project, my rear wheel bearings need to be changed in a bad way. They are not supposed to come out that easily. There's part of the old bearing. Everything just comes together and you bring a sense of newness to something old again. That's why I love this. That's why I'm passionate about it. Creating beautiful imagery of the process and making it a permanent memory to be able to share with others is just a bonus. successfully um, changed the output shaft seal. I've changed the rear wheel bearings and I successfully changed my first motorcycle inner tube. So I think all those things are good to go. I just need to slap this thing back together, get everything put back on, torqued down, and uh, hopefully this job was a success. got 
everything pretty much squared away. Um, pretty much the last thing I want to do is change out the power valve spring. Uh, I want to go with the green spring. Where we ride, it's really rocky and stuff, and I can use all the traction I can get. So I'm going to try to uh, level out that power band throughout the RPM range a little more. Um, and if anything, it's a great starting point. I mean, a 300 two-stroke is more than enough power, arguably too much power for a guy like me. I'm all but 135 pounds. So, uh, you know, I'd love to tame it down a little bit just to make it a little more rideable. The whole reason I bought a 300 was I just love the low-end torque that it makes. We're going to lay the bike over and see if we can get to that power valve and get that swapped out real quick. One of the most awesome things about these KTMs is you can kind of change the character of how they run by swapping out this power valve spring. You can easily, very easily change how quickly in the RPM range the power band kicks on. You put in the red spring, which is very light and allows that power valve to open at low RPM and make this thing scream. Some call it the demon spring. Or you can put in the yellow to be middle of the road, or like I'm doing, I'm putting in the green to let that power valve open more gradual and give this thing more of a linear torque curve, not be quite as violent. Well, I think that's it. Test drive? Yeah. See how it does? Uh-huh. See if I got it all fixed? I bet you did. I hope so.